This story of the Ultimate Express Car Wash began over 45 years ago. My grandfather and his brother built their first car wash in 1969. Who would have known that over four decades later, three generations of our family would be helping build car washes all over the world. But this is what happens when you commit to the core philosophy of constant and never-ending improvement. purchased this land 15 years ago with the plan to build a car wash here. Back then we had it planned and approved and ready to go, but we realized it wasn't perfect. So we scrapped the plans and put the project on hold. Over the last 15 years, technology's changed and everything has evolved in the industry. So we came back at it three years ago with a new plan to usher in a new era of car wash technology with this new state-of-the-art facility. We're gonna give you a little tour today of this project. This facility is what we call the Totally Tommy Gas Wash Sea Store model and the choice model of our corporate owned stores here in Michigan. It integrates a traditional feeling gas station connected to the car wash as well as a Tim Hortons coffee shop with drive through Now this model creates an integrated profit centers with a low labor environment. The way we lay this out and design it in a drive through for the car wash and the Tim Hortons tied onto one building. Now when entering into the convenience store on the left, we have the Tim Hortons coffee shop where the franchisees for. We have the drive-thru integrated and this is the inside part of that. If coming straight ahead, you have the gas station cashiers which are precisely in line with the loading area, the car wash and the flight deck area there. Now if you drew a line through the facility, we try to center the curb cut out front with the center of the gas pumps to the main center of the front door here to the flight deck to the loading area of the car wash. Now over here we have the coffee shop and restaurant area. We try to build a homey feel and not make it feel like you're having lunch in a gas station, fireplace, TV, and a nice sitting area for the coffee shop. That's inside the convenience store. The point of sale area is the first destination when entering the property, so it's key that it's line of sight from the entrance. Behind me, you'll see the new Tommy Pay Station canopy in the fascia with the channel letters spelling out the lane options. Now, something unique here is we offer three lanes all working together. The first lane being a cashier with a manned cashier window. The middle lane being an auto teller, which we direct cash or credit customers to. And the outside lane, the unlimited club speed pass lane for club members to bypass the line. Now, this payment system is highly visible with the tower, and the tower creates the iconic look to draw people in to that point of sale destination area. And you'll see also the finishing detail of the towers, the standard of the Tommy facility, what we call sometimes the dealership theme. It's an architectural metal panel with a split face block knee wall and the corrugated metal band. All three lanes are gated, and whichever transaction finishes first, the gate opens and the customer can proceed into the queue. Now here we are inside the pay station tower. This is where all three lanes are managed from at the cashier window. We can process transactions, take coupons, do special promotions, and answer questions. On the screens up here, we monitor lane two and three of what's going on on those auto tellers. On the right, stack control to monitor the queue and the camera's down here to monitor everything going on around the facility. We also do club member administration back here, and this is usually a two-person task back here at the window. We come out of the point of sale system making a left-hand turn toward the car wash tunnel. We like to have a minimum of five cars in the queue here. That gives people enough time to get situated and prepare for loading so we can keep them real tight when they get in. We also come in downhill into the car wash tunnel. This allows the customer to ride the brake and creates a safer and faster loading process. The secret to an outstanding car wash and high volume is processing. Now the number one tool we have to process vehicles fast is what we call the Tommy Transporter Belt Conveyor Moving Floor System. Now the beauty of this is cars never have to stop moving. We want to get them in as tight as we can, as fast as we can. To hit a peak hour, we'll put a loader out here to bring them in tighter but the car doesn't have to wait for a roller to pop up, so as soon as they hit the belt, they go. We also reduce missed cars because we don't have customers turning the wheel, 
jumping a roller, things like that. On the belt, it doesn't matter. They can turn the wheel, hit the brake, or even put the car in park with limited issues. So we load them in fast, we get them on here smooth, and the less customer intimidation, people are fearful of trying to line up, getting scratched wheels by the old chain and roller conveyors. So this is the solution, the Tommy Transporter Belt, to getting high throughput. Now, we've been open 86 days, we just passed 100,000 cars washed total. Our peak day was 2,350 cars, and our peak hour right now has been 194 cars an hour to bringing them in as tight and as fast as we can. Now here we are standing in the flight deck. Behind me you see cars loading themselves in a self-loading process. That's only thanks to the design of the flight deck and the proximity of the cashiers to the loading area of the car wash, all tied into this Gas Wash C-Store integrated model. Now as a gas station cashier, I'm able to help a customer right here, as well as turn around and monitor the loading process behind me. You see this design of the windows, very specific to get a longer range of view to see the tire on the track, verify that they're online and in neutral. You hear the voice commander triggers, gives me a little reminder to do a head check, make sure everything looks good. The flight deck's also key design incorporates this panoramic window, allows me to look down the car wash tunnel and see everything happening right here with full control. In addition to the line of sight, we have the control council. This gives me an additional push button station, start stop, some of the wash controls, as well as a conveyor pause feature. The pause slows down the belt conveyor to a crawl. So if we have trouble with somebody loading, maybe something we got a quick grab out of a pickup bed, we'll pause the conveyor, slow it down for a few seconds and restart at full speed without stopping the wash. These two touch screens give us an auxiliary controller here and this is the management application which controls a daily checklist and a cloud software program we put together. Daily checklist, totals, chemical levels, and cost per car reading that we can get right here on the management application, giving us full control of this facility. The most unique thing you'll see behind me is the 32 foot wide car wash bay. Now this creates a wide open spacious environment for the customer as well as for the staff to manage and maintain the car wash. Now also when it comes to the equipment, we've completely overhauled the innovation with getting rid of the old big back rooms. We used to have a 100 foot long back room plus with pipes going this way and that way. Well today, the chemical pod houses most of that stuff in just nine feet of space. All the chemical functions and the chemicals themselves plumbed in from the bottom with the pod chaseway and out overhead through the ladder rack system you see behind me. Now we designed this ladder rack bracket to hold all the chemical lines on bottom, hydraulics on top. When they go out to the bay, they connect all the arches together and it'll make one bend and no lines ever have to crisscross. Now the second pod down the tunnel is what we call the maintenance pod. This is crucial for day-to-day -day operation for maintenance on the nozzles, chemical injectors, tip cleaning, light duty maintenance. This has a workbench, a vise, a toolbox, wall cleaner and window cleaner with retractable reel guns for high pressure, low pressure, and a water rinse. So for doing windows at night or cleaning the wash bay, this makes it easy, centered in the tunnel so the hoses can reach both ends. Now the third pod down on the end is the hydraulic shield, we call it. Again, plums out overhead, connects over the ladder rack to the arches for all the hydraulics in the system. Now I want to show you some of the extra services in the package. Up front's the fire red hot lava service in the works package. In the middle of the tunnel we have the rainbow coat trademark service. Downstream we have the hot wax application, then we go into high pressure rinse, the ice, sealers, and spot free rinse. Now another unique innovation in this equipment package is what we call the all-in-one module. This incorporates a set of side washers, a mitter curtain, a set of rocker brushes, and a set of wraps on an all-in-one module. And then we have two of those modules. That creates a standardization and consistency with a lot of interchangeable parts. So it's very simple, foamers on board. It's an awesome, unique product. Now we're gonna take a walk out in the wash bay. I wanna point out a couple things to notice. Take note of the epoxy floor and the rolled edge in the corners, which makes it easy to clean. We also made a very narrow ledge underneath the windows for easy cleaning and to reduce any ledge for water to sit on. The window frame is a very specific uh, design with a frame on the outside of the window and a minimal, almost non-existent frame on the inside of the window, making it very easy to clean and again, avoiding the ledge. Now there's an acrylic 
roof system over the car wash, making it bright inside the wash bay and LED lighting to accompany that. Then we're gonna go into the dry back room at the end. Now, new technology today is much smaller. So you're gonna see the whole back room very open and spacious, but it's only 30 feet long based on this new technology. At the end of the room is an electrical area that has the VFD panel and the controller and the sub panels consolidated at the end of the room in a dry environment. Then in the middle of the room, we have the RO system for filtered water. Then we have the all-in-one pump station. Now something unique about the all-in-one pump station, we're combining all the right pumps for the right purposes, wheel blasters, pumps, then a Grunfoss pump that ramps up and down to feed the chemical pods, a cat pump for cleaning the bay, and a booster pump for the rinse. So you'll see that we're doing a few unique things with water distribution, get some extra pressure with fewer pumps, really unique, you gotta take a look at that. Up in the mezzanine, see the RO water storage tanks, which is a new narrow 400 gallon tank, a hot water heater up there that runs a heat exchanger to do snow melt and the hot water for the wash, and then the air compressor down on the end. Then we're gonna go out in the drying chamber and take a look at the vehicles coming out, the most important thing. Now we're running 180 to 200 car per hour chain speed. We're getting some of the driest and best vehicles I've ever seen. We got 16 10 horsepower blower producers. We have a new side drying cloth that does reverse rotation, comes in only on the mirror and the side windows just for three seconds. And then we got heated blowers shooting down on the tops of the car for a little added drying at the end. Tire Shine has designed a new system that's leg mounted off the blower arches, gets rid of the frame and keeps it up off the floor. We have 11 free vacuum stalls here in the front corner of the property. The customer walks up, hits the button and starts a vacuum. The benefit of this design is they're not running if they're not being used. Now the vacuum drops a hose on each side of the vehicle. The balls are trash cans as well as the hose holders. The vacuum's powered by a producer on the stanchion there, a slim stainless steel canister with a cartridge filter inside and two 220 volt motors. This unique design gives the best customer experience, extreme suction even if they're using both hoses at once, as well as the energy efficiency. Here we are standing outside the exit of the tunnel. I want to point out a few building features behind me. You see what's the outside of the dry back room. The vertical wall here is finished with a product called Nishiha. On the left, you see the storage tower, we call it. That's for supplies and storage, as well as a heavy-duty workbench back there. And the end wall starburst, creating the iconic design recognizable by motorists. You see cars coming out at nearly 200 cars per hour, clean, shiny, and dry. Our doors are open to share with you more. We welcome you to come out and tour and check it out behind the scenes and we're open to sharing information to help you improve your business or build a new car wash. From a contractor standpoint, it was nice to go onto a project where all those little details were worked out. So really what we needed to do was just coordinate the trades uh, to get the job done as fast as we could. To emphasize the idea that, you know, the, the details everywhere from uh, how the dry back room works to how it drains to where the tools sit, where all, each piece of equipment is planned to be, um, it's all reproduced in the exact same way because this has been thought out um, by not only the equipment um, group but the, um, the operations group and making sure that everyone has been pulled together to review each detail. So the, the quality car wash that you're looking at is, um, is a fine example of everybody pulling together as a team to review every, every single aspect um, so that the operators don't have to.